Good afternoon and welcome to the Health Education and Welfare Committee. Today is July the 19th, 2023. The time is 2 o'clock p.m. and I would like to ask uh, Representative Leonard Gouch to do our invocation. If you can stand if you're able. Thank you, Madam Chair. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us this day. Thank you for giving us the time and the courage to come here and take care of the, the business of the tribe and take care of its people. And always when we look at our future, we take care of our little ones of the tribe. You stand pray. Amen. Hello, Representative Gouge. First order of business is establishment, a roll call by legislative clerk, April Lindsay. Mary Crawford. Present. Joyce Steer. Present. Leonard Gouge. Here. Robert Huff. Present. Anna Marshall. Present. Madam Chair, you got five present and zero absent. Five present and zero absent establishes a quorum. Uh, all, all business conducted will be official. The first order of business is approval of minutes of June the 12th, 2023. Madam Chair. Yes, Representative. Uh, I make a motion that we approve the minutes of June the 12th with any necessary changes. We have a motion on the floor from Representative Marshall to approve the minutes of June the 12th. Is there a second? Second by Representative Gouge. Roll call vote, please. Anna Marshall? Yes. Leonard Gouge? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Madam Chair, you got four in favor and zero against. Four in favor and zero against. The minutes of June the 12th, 2023 are approved. First order of business is TR 23-070, a tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation approving the absentee workers for the 2023 Muscogee Creek Nation primary and general elections. Sponsor, Anna Marshall. Motion for due pass. We have a motion for a due pass from Representative Marshall. Is there a second? Second. Second by Representative Crawford. Discussion? I believe I thought I saw Mr. Nolan Robinson on the on the call. Madam Chair, this is Sarah Barnett with the Election Board. I am on the call. I don't know if my name is showing up. I'm joining from my phone. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, Sarah, do you want to make any comments on that on this piece of legislation? Um. I don't have any comments. I can answer any questions that you have. I mean, I guess I could let you know that all the background checks have come back um, for those individuals that are on the list. So they are legally eligible to um, serve in this capacity. And as far as we can tell, they're not related to any of the candidates who have filed so far. Um, that would, in a way, that would prevent them from um, serving as an election worker. Um, and then I believe that um, you all have the right to adjust that list as you see fit. So um, we do need at least 10 uh, workers to be in compliance with the code towards the election. Thank you, Ms. Barnett. Are there questions for Ms. Barnett regarding this legislation? Any questions from council in attendance or online? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Anna Marshall? Yes. Leonard Gouge? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Madam Chair, you got four in favor and zero against. Four in favor and zero against. ER 23-070 is approved. Next item of business is NCA 23-054, a law of the Muscogee Creek Nation amending MCNCA Title 35, Chapter 13, entitled Tribal Burial Assistance and Food for Funeral Assistance Program and authorizing the expenditure of American Rescue Plan ARPA funds received from the United States Department of the Treasury for the Fiscal Relief Funding for Burial Assistance. Sponsor, Mark Randolph. Madam Chair, motion to pass the substitute bill. We have a motion from Representative Huff to pass, do pass NCA 23-054. Is there a second? Second. Second by Representative Gouge. 
Discussion. Madam Chair, I'd like to make a, a I'd like to make uh, some amendments to the bill, please. Yes, you have the floor, Representative Huff. Okay, uh, on page two, lines 36 and 37, where it says on line 37, it says $700, that should be say 750. And then on, also on page, 40, uh, page, page two, on line 41, where it says uh, $7,000 for burial assistance, we should add and $750 for food for burial, for funeral assistance. Did you get that? Yes, sir. Okay. Then also on, um, also on page two, Lines 43 and 44. Right on line 43 is where it says, funding shall be added as starting there, second strike out secondary and back up. And also, um, funding source stays the same, but in the starting line also it says, in the event, primary BIA or trouble funds are unavailable for burial assistance, please strike that also. Did you get that? Get all that. Did you everybody get that? Yes. Okay. I'll repeat the on, last one. On, okay, on page three, on line nine, the actor executive vape at October 1, 2023. Representative Huff. That's all the amendments. Representative yes, Huff, could you go over yes. the, the previous uh, corrections or changes on line? All of them or just? No, just, or just on line 44 and 45. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, that is confused. I apologize, yes. On line 43, where it says, uh, it says, it says ARPA, ARPA funding shall be added as a strikeout back secondary and backup. Mm -hmm. Then it reads funding source. And the next sentence, it says, in the event primary BIA or trouble funds are unavailable for burial assistance, strike, those, strike that line out also. Thank you. Okay. Is that everything that you, you guys need? That's, that's my motion to, to amend the uh, substitute bill. I believe so. Thank you, sir. Are there questions from the committee for Representative Huff? We don't have a second on this. Uh, for amendments? For the amendments, yes. We have a second from Representative Gouge. And also, uh, Madam Chair, Yes. If it'd be okay with a sponsor, I would love to be a co-sponsor. Sponsor. Is that okay? Is that okay with you, Representative Randolph? Yes, that's okay with him. Okay. We will add you as a co-sponsor. Okay, are there any more questions from the committee for um, on this legislation? Any questions from council online or in attendance? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. This is for the amendments, right? Yes, this will be for the amendments. Okay, good, thank you. Representative Randolph, did you wanna say something as far as the amendments or for the whole legislation? Oh, man, once you're done with the amendments, I just had something real quick. Thank you. We will vote Robert. on the amendments. Robert Huff. Yes. Mary Crawford. Yes. Anna Marshall. Yes. Senator Gouch. Yes. I'm sure you got four in favor and zero against. Four in favor and zero against. The amendments to this NCA 23-054 are passed. 
now on to the uh, legislation. Roll call vote, please. Or, I'm sorry. Representative Randolph, you have a comment to make. Thank you, Madam Chair. I just wanted uh, to say thank you to the committee and to you. Um, I wanted, if I could, I wanted to give just a few minutes to Ms. Williams. The lady, there was a group of ladies that brought this issue to my attention. So we worked with them. I worked with the executive branch. We went over with it with a fine tooth comb all the way up until this morning. But we worked together, and I wanted to thank um, Texas Saltzman and Ms. Mr. Deer and Mrs. Williams and Mr. Harjo. They, they had really good input, and we, we worked on this bill to make it as strong as we could and use our money as wise as we could. So if I could just give Ms. Williams a few minutes, and if you have any questions for Mr. Harjo or Ms. Saltzman, they would be glad to answer any questions you might have. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon, Ms. Williams. You have the floor. Good afternoon. Thank you, National Council Representatives. And uh, uh, I did chairperson of the Muskogee, um, 60 and over Muskogee Lady Legends. And since our inception of 2019... Could you yes, pull the microphone okay. down so we can hear you better? Since our organization of 2019, um, we have had the honor of being requested to be at... Uh, since 2019 to 2023, 10 funerals. And so we have um, been with the families. We walked with them through their mourning. Uh, we fed them. And um, w but this year has been the increase with the inflation and everything that has gone on with the food, the burial expenses. And you've passed this. We thank you. It's a great service to, to our people and the nation. And um, that's basically what, uh, what I'd like to say. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Are there any questions from the committee for Ms. Williams? Any questions from council in attendance or online? I'm chair, let me make a comment. Yes, Representative Gage. <clears throat> uh, Ms. Williams did uh, assist my family. With, I had an aunt that passed away, and she came out and, and helped my wife and my other aunt to shop and she kind of uh, explained to me why why it wasn't enough money to stretch long and far enough. And you know, as a man, I don't understand the grocery shopping, but the women do, and, and they they stretch it as far as they can. They count every penny. Yes. So I, I appreciate I appreciate her and her group. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hearing no other comments or questions. Thank Does you, Ms. Is? Williams. Thank you. A roll call vote, please. Robert Huff. Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Anna Marshall? Yes. Leonard Gouch? Yes. Madam Chair, you got four in favor and zero against. Four in favor and zero against. NCA 23-054, the substitute is approved. Next item is NCA 23-068, a law of the Muskogee Creek Nation authorizing a don donation to the Holdenville Fire Department. Sponsor, Anna Marshall. Motion for due pass. We have a motion for due pass from Representative Marshall. Is there a second? Second from Representative Crawford. Discussion? Uh, yes, uh, Madam Chair. Um, I have met with the uh, city of Holdenville, and I have met with the city manager, um, as well as the uh, fire department. And uh, as it says in the legislation that... Um, Probably in rural areas, we probably pay the highest home insurance rates. And, um, and a lot of that is dependent upon the, the ISO ratings, and it's based upon your fire department. And I know that they, they rate a four, and not all counties and not all states use the home insurance that, that uses the ISO as a basis. But for, but for Hughes County or Tugabuchi District, uh, they do use the ISO rating. Um, and they're also in need of a fire truck. And a lot of this, because we're gonna be building that new clinic and we also purchased the old DHS building. And so we have a lot of property, but we also have the casino that's there. 
and we have a community center. And um, one thing I can say about the fire department, they have always, uh, they are very quick to respond to fires. And we've had a lot of fires in Holdenville lately, uh, in abandoned houses and, um, and everything else. But, um, but based on that, um, they're, they're using a fire truck that's on loan from Spalding, Oklahoma. And if anybody knows anything about Tukabuchi District, Spalding is a small rural community, smaller than Holdenville. And uh, they have been loaning out their, uh, is it a pump truck, um, for them to use. And so <clears throat> Holdenville is in dire need of a fire truck. And um, I also have the, the Brian Jay, who is the uh, fire chief, as well as Rick Branscombe, who's the assistant fire chief. So if there's any questions, uh, they can probably answer it better than I can. So, Thank you, Representative Marshall. Would either of you like to make a comment on this legislation? Yeah. The microphone, please. How y'all doing? I'm Brian Jay. I'm the fire chief at Holdenville Fire Department. Um, I just took over the position. Uh, this has been in the workings trying to get a truck for a couple years now. Uh, our other truck is a 95 model. Uh, it was our first truck out. Uh, it's failed its pump test. Uh, now we can't get the truck to pump, so that's why we put it out of service because it was just a great risk to the community to have a truck that didn't pump. And uh, I believe if we get another pumper, I think we can get our ISO to a three for sure. I think, you know, uh, we had three pumpers when we did the ISO. The other one was retired, and we had the two, and then we took on the tanker. Now this one's down, so that's what, the, you know, I, we just got to have the truck, and really, really greatly appreciate it, you guys. Um, how, how many firefighters do you have? Uh, we uh, uh, currently we have a uh, ten volunteers and uh, ten full times, counting myself. There's, there's three on a shift, and then the volunteers is when we page in for like a structure fire or grass fire, then they come in and help us. I'm trying to take on two more volunteers. And out of your out of your firefighters, how many are Native American? Uh, we have. Uh, Two, three Native American full times and two volunteers, and then the two I'm trying to take on, they're both Native American. Madam Chair, Robert Huff, I have a question. Yes, Representative Huff, do you have the floor? This, this is more for the sponsor, I guess. Uh, maybe, maybe also the fire chief there. You know, this truck will only operate within city limits, correct? Uh, no, no, we do mutual aid for like uh, Horntown, Spalding. Uh, as long as it's not too far off, we even go over to Seminole County and assist we woke to. I have a question for the sponsor. Or, you know, if, we, if this passes, you know, we're, we're providing a, big, a fire truck for the city of Holdenville. But what happens when you have a, a, a Creek citizen that live outside the city limits in the rural area and they call for the fire truck? Will they be billed for the use of the fire department? No, we don't. No. We don't bill. Are those runs free? Yes. Okay, so I need to find out. Thank you. Thank you. That's all the questions that I have. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Huft. Um, I have a comment. According to the legislation, the Holdenville Fire Department is eligible, now eligible for $2,000. So that $2,000 will be included in this amount. Just so we'll be clear on that. Thank you. Are there any other questions from the committee? Are there questions or comments from council online or in attendance? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Anna Marshall? Yes. Senator Gouch? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Madam Chair, you got four in favor and zero against. Four in favor and zero against, NCA 23-068 is passed. And it will be forwarded to BF&J for a uh, funding source. 
we are down to other business. We will have an update on the on the health systems from Secretary of Health, Mr. T Sean Terry. Actually, Mr. Terry cannot be with us today. He had a other business to attend to. And uh, so I will move on to Ms. Crawford. Ms. Crawford is online if you have uh, a report to give or we have your report or Mr. Terry's report. We've been given that. So if Thank you have you, a Chair. comment to say, you have the floor. Uh, Thank you, Madam Chair. Good afternoon. Um, yes, you do have the, the uh, Department of Health report along with the financials and the packet that was provided. Um, I don't really have anything to add other than we, you know, had another really good month, a busy month uh, for health, the patient care, and also projects and activities. Um, our cash collections continue to be strong, and we are currently working with all of our um, health care providers and uh, um, payer providers like uh, Global and, and Health Choice and, and all of these providers to getting the credentialing done for all of our providers and the facilities so that we'll be able to bill here at Council Oak. So looking forward to getting all of that done. It's a, a really big job, takes a lot of uh, time and effort, but we'll get that done and then we'll uh, be able to bill for the services here. Were there any questions regarding the financial statements? Are there any questions from the committee for Ms. Crawford? Are there any questions from council online or in attendance for Ms. Crawford? Hearing none. Thank you, Ms. Crawford. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. We are down to announcements. Are there any announcements from the committee? Hearing none, we are down to adjournment and benediction. If there's a motion to adjourn, um, I have that motion in a second. So move. Okay. We have a motion from Representative Marshall and a second from Representative Gouge for uh, adjournment. And I would like to ask Representative Marshall if she would do our benediction. If you would stand if you're able. Creator God, we just come to you at this time and we just thank you for your guidance and your knowledge and your wisdom as we went forth today making decisions for the betterment of our citizens and our nation. And we just ask that you be with each and every one as they return to their respective places. And we just want to thank you for all the blessings on this day. And we ask all these things in your name. Amen. We are adjourned at 223. Thank you.